CalDigit historically makes some of the most popular Thunderbolt docks, and now they're out with the newest, the TS5 Plus. Before I show this off, if you want to keep up to date with the latest Apple news and reviews, hit that subscribe button. I last reviewed the previous gen CalDigit TS4 in 2022, and despite many great hubs out there, this has been one of the most highly sought. The brand has now released its successor in the TS5 Plus, perfectly designed for the latest Macs. Thunderbolt 5 has many benefits over Thunderbolt 4, which was a pretty minor update over Thunderbolt 3. DB5 can reach up to 120 gigabits per second instead of just 40. The spec can support dual 6K or even 8K displays and up to 240 watts of power delivery. Plus, it has twice the PCI data throughput and supports USB 4 v2. I did a whole video breaking down every little difference between these two specs, and if you want to learn more, I've linked it here for you. Currently, Apple's MacBook Pro, Mac Studio, and Mac Mini all support Thunderbolt 5. To be clear, this is actually the third Thunderbolt 5 dock that CalDigit now makes. There's the Element dock, which I have a written review on, then there's the base TS5 dock. The TS5 Plus is their most capable, offering several firsts in the industry right now. Let's talk design. The TS5 Plus looks very similar to the TS4 and TS3 that came before it. it reminds me of a book with a slightly curved front and lines around the sides that double as heat sinks. Ports are spread out between the front and the back. It can go flat to slide under tighter spaces on your desk, or can sit upright. They even include silicone bumpers that you can put wherever is most convenient, whichever way you want on the top. It has an external 330 watt power supply, which I never love, but it does make it easier to store. Putting the power supply into the hub will greatly increase the size and heat, so it makes sense to offload it. Plus, I kind of like the space gray color. It matches the MacBook Pros, really well. Another nice touch, CalDigit includes a braided Thunderbolt 5 cable. Very similar in quality to Apple's, though Apple has metal ends while CalDigit's are still plastic. So what do you think of the overall design here? Do you like this book shape or would you prefer one of the long thin ones that are out there? Let me know in the comments. So what ports does this have? On the front, you'll see a USB-A port with 7.5 watts of charging power plus a 35 millimeter audio jack, combo, combo jack, SD, UHS-2, and micro SD, UHS-2 card readers, and a pair of USB Type-C ports. The left USB-C port does 7.5 watts of power, while the right is a crazy fast 36 watt. All ports on the front of this support 10 gigabits per second of data. That's actually a huge feature here because CalDigit is the only one so far with dual 10 gigabit USB controllers. That's how they're able to get that speed on the front and the back of the dock. Speaking of the back, you find 10 more ports. Three more USB-C ports with 7.5 watts of power each. Four more USB-A ports with 7.5 watts of power. Though these ones don't work when your Mac is not connected, you're essentially offline. Uh, there's a 10 gigabit Ethernet port. Currently the only Thunderbolt 5 dock with a 10 gigabit Ethernet port, by the way. The bottom row has dedicated audio in and out ports. DisplayPort 2.1, and three Thunderbolt 5 ports. The rightmost Thunderbolt 5 port connects to your Mac and delivers up to 140 watts of power on machines that support it. The other two Thunderbolt ports do 36 watts of power for connecting more accessories, like uh, external storage or monitors. In my case, I tested this with the latest MacBook Pro, and I had no issues at all. Everything connected together seamlessly. I had no disconnects on any of my external storage devices. My monitors never flashed whatsoever. They just all worked perfectly uh, when I had two of them connected via this dock. And even a third one, a third small one, connected over HDMI on the side of the MacBook Pro itself. The collection of ports here is, is pretty top notch. I tend to prefer HDMI, so I would maybe have preferred that instead of DisplayPort, but I understand why. HDMI is a proprietary connector, which means CalDigit would need to pay for the licensing rights, as well as likely an active HDMI chip to support it. Plus, you can easily convert DisplayPort, which is literally part of the USB-C and Thunderbolt spec, to HDMI. It's not as easy to convert HDMI to DisplayPort without an active adapter. Those can get more expensive. There are other reasons too, but I think a lot comes down to, to those two. 
If you need HDMI, just use an adapter, you should be set. I love the way that you're able to add fast power to the front of this too. That makes it easy to use it as a charging port as well as for data. I can connect an iPad Pro or even the new faster MagSafe puck to, do, to deliver power a lot higher than 7.5 watts. This is small, but I maybe even like 18 watts of power on the other front-facing USB-C port, but I know power requirements get tough when you have this many ports on a dock. Just because the other docks maybe on the market say they all support higher power, there's only really so much power to go around. In this case, 330 watts. 140 of that alone goes to your computer. Especially if you have this thing all filled up, you're, you're not gonna have enough to go around, especially if everything claims to support 36 watts. Personally, there's only one thing that I feel is actually missing here for me, which is a CFS Express Type B reader. Seriously, it's about time here. Many cameras do use SD or micro SD, but more and more have been switching to CF Express Type B. It's the high end cameras that use this format, and this is supposed to be a high end dock. Fortunately, I do have a Thunderbolt dual CF Express card reader, but I'd like not have to plug in additional accessories to use them. Let me know what you think, if there's any other ports that you would have liked to see here or any that you'd swap out. Is this your ideal Thunderbolt 5 docking station that'll last you several years? If you're interested in it, I put a link in the description. It has been popular and I believe the entire first batch of these has already sold out, so make sure you pick one up. Let me know down below in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next video.